2005 Honda Odyssey. So this is a 2004 Honda Odyssey. I really expected to lift this up and show you a nice glob of green dye, green dye that was in here uh, on Friday. It's Monday now. Back to work, replacing the AC condenser here in the front. But surprisingly, it's uh, seemed to have evaporated. But we're going to go ahead and replace the uh, AC condenser because it did have a big hole in it, spewing out our green dye and freon. So. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Pretty easy to get to. <clears throat> Not too much else down here. So ours has been sucked dry on Friday. We sucked it dry. I recommend you take it to a shop somewhere. And uh, just make sure it's empty before you do this job. And uh, let's go ahead. I think we're going to end up removing maybe this uh, front bumper assembly. So let's get to it. So we took all these clips off of uh, the cover on the top. A special tool that makes it easier. See how it gets right in there and there's two grooves on there. And so we got the cover off right down there for this area right here. So it's pretty loose. Right now I might be able to just weasel it out of the top here. <clears throat> now there's two more of uh, these clips. Two or three more clips down here. You see might consider is taking these clips off. And take this beautiful cover off for Honda and maybe be able to weasel it out that way. Uh, mostly 10 millimeter bolts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down there and take those three clips out, two or three clips. Looks like just two. And then we'll uh, see what happens after this. There's another connector over there on that side, and there's a couple bolt mounts on the sides too. Got the beautiful Honda piece out. Just slides straight out. Once you take all the clips out, it just slides straight out. Looks like we got plenty of room to get to the condenser. Now this stuff is pretty flimsy, flexible. Pull it back. 10 millimeter bolt. 10 millimeter bolt. So, and then uh, 10 millimeter bolt here. 10 millimeter bolt there, and uh, should pull out. Let's check it out. I'm gonna get those bolts out. 10 millimeter. We'll see what comes out. So here's my basic setup I've been using to uh, take stuff apart. Just a quarter inch ratchet. Been able to access all the bolts pretty much. Just like that. We'll probably keep this. Do the same for the other side. Doo -doo. Got the bolt out of here. And then again, it's free, free of Freon. It's all been sucked out. So you can just wiggle these off. They will come off. Just wiggle it. I do recommend you replace those O rings. So if you take them off, <coughs> Bring those to your local auto parts store. It's best to replace them. Bring them to the store and get some new ones. Put them on there with a little bit of oil. You will want to put a little bit of uh, the right oil in here. Air conditioning, proper air conditioning lubricant. So uh, when you're at your store again, just uh, ask them what the right stuff is and they can give you the right stuff. And it looks like it'll probably pretty much pull out. Ooh. Well, I can say with confidence it is going to come out. I'm going to put the camera down and take it out. Half the job will be done. Of course, reverse procedure to install. New O-rings, little lubricant inside the uh, 
condenser and oil lubricant on the O-rings, bolt them back down, bring it to your favorite shop and uh, have them uh, recharge it up for you. And that should take care of your replacement of your condenser. So when you're sliding the grill out, here's the grooves. Basically all along down here, that's why I need to slide straight out. Because there's a groove right here that these babies right here fit into. So you're sliding it out and sliding it in. That's why you're sliding it straight out and not lifting up. A nice new condenser, new O-rings, all bolted in place.